I'm Ethan. And I'm Sebastian. Today we're doing Ethan's toy room issue. Yeah, Big my room. my room. Uh, I'm, I'm one of those, I guess. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, once I have a toy room downstairs, and I actually haven't shown you guys that one. You've seen the Batman shelf, which you guys liked, and the He-Man one. You've been requesting this, so we're going to show you everything finally. And then in the next few days, we're going to do Sebastian's at some point, yeah. his museum, as we like to call yeah. it. Yeah, so right here, this only plays into because it bleeds into this, but this is a record shelf, mm -hmm. but it bleeds into this where we have Super 7, The Fiends, Jerry Only, more music people except him just randomly there. <laughs> yeah, I guess the point kind of counts. And then we have Hyas down here, which they don't all stand that well, especially that queen, and unfortunately. Oh, yeah um but yeah so that's that and then on the, the little wall the sign by jerry only right there and then i have a halloween one the only other one that i keep in box i, I might do the albums um but uh, like some of the other ones like earth ad but like i singles but i want a bullet yes that one i would not open so i guess we can start at the bottom yep so down here we got my dc i had threw in some comics some of my favorite covers and stuff in the back and i tried like in this row right here, for instance, to do like a little Bat Family thing. Up here is just villains uh, from the DC Universe. Over here is movie figures from the ones that I actually care about, like the Batman, Dark Knight, and then the Suicide Squad. Then I got like some Dark Knight Returns representation over there and some others. Then we have G1s, which a lot of these are from a collection that I got from a toy show. Which um, I was at. Which, which he was at, which we I stupidly tossed back all these accessories. accessories because we thought, and a lot of the bigger figures, which was kind of a good it was play for, for that, but not the accessory. Because route. he, we later figured out he did not care about the accessories. No, he did not. So we we really screwed up there. Marvel Legends shelf, which the is very ways. crammed, especially yes. on that side over here. Not as bad, but this is mainly supposed to be X Men back there, and this is, I guess, everything. <laughs> um. This is my NECA shelf. It's mainly kind of monster related. And then I guess over here would be Predator and Alien. Um, but there's a few mixed match in there. And then this is the vintage Star Wars shelf, which has some Customs, doubles, but has custom stand solo. solo. Yeah. Vintage. Yep. Blue Snaggletooth, some droids figures and Ewoks over there. And then Last 17. And then up, up top, we have like the Star Destroyer, Cantina, the... Um, Land of the Jawas. Yep, and then we have some cool figures like these two that we're probably about to review. And then I just have some of the Kenner-looking Black Series up here. So then we'll just go low and then go up, I guess. So Legos. So, oh, okay. Care. Yeah, I guess Legos. Um, A little Tron shelf with the game. Yeah, that, that wonderful noise. Um, This is my newest thing that I've done, really. I have Morph coming in, which is the last figure that they've made, unless you want to count Apocalypse, but I had these over here because of the to put the uh, boxes on display, but this is the 90s X-Men Marvel Legends. This is a little bit of an anime shelf, which is a, a new thing. Ugh. Vintage Dukes of Hazard trash can. Sure. <laughs> then this is the G.I. Joe classified shelf, which is pretty up to date. Um, Rakondo, we will be reviewing in a moment. And then after that, he'll be joining the shelf. So other than that, everything's pretty good, but I got the vehicles this up there. This is Pentor, Dr. Mindbender. Those are the main Python two that I'm officer. missing. Yeah. That's about it. Yep. All right. On to this very over uh, stuffed. Yeah, but it's basically fit everything that I really care about, except the sequels, which I'm or not really figures. sad that I've had to take Kenobi off. But I do like them somewhat, but not really. But anyway, so I, this is my Mandalorian representation. I have pretty much all of my like small three and three quarter inch displays downstairs, but because of this monster, I kind of decided just to do this one in here. But I kind of have this set up like the end of season one over here with a bunch of little things mixed match. These are like the heroes. Got the Navarro Cantina and some other stuff. And then this is just everything. everything. Yeah. Return of the Jedi, Empire, A New Hope, Revenge of the Sith, slash Episode 1. <laughs> and I guess two. I, it's prequels, I guess, just right there. Wait, where's your Episode 2 people? Like who? Where's like Anakin and everything? They're all back there. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I know. Bad Batch. Yep. Clones, Sith, slash Django. This is Clone Wars, kind of. Yeah. Um, that's like expanded universe slash Macquarie slash gaming. <laughs> yeah, Mando, 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 Mando more Return, Return of the Jedi, extra. Yep. Um, then I got more records over here and just some stuff on the back of my door, including this awesome uh, statue. And then I I love when they made like the jump like movable posters like that. Masters, You've already seen this, but show. just in case you haven't. Yep. And yes. I. 
I'll show this. So this is a new thing. I was trying to clear some space here. So this is just kind of like high-end figures almost that I kind of care about. So I have some Mezcos over here. I actually took away, I got to find a new spot. I'm going to hang that, but I actually found my Evil Dead box recently. So I put that over here. Um, you know, if the one, the Batman figure from the movie comes out, maybe I'll actually have him because I did pre-order him. Uh, that's me and Stan Lee, my dad and the signature. And down oh, here, our quick. best review. Oh yeah, this is our highest According review views. for you guys. And then some crow and them. Down here, I have my Necker Street display, which I've moved pretty much all of my turtles figures which to. Which just fits perfectly. In it really opinion. does. I know they made the turtle related one, but that and somehow it goes for more. But it's yeah. literally not anything really different or better. Clone Wars poster, and then awesome. these are just some of my favorite figures. I kind of tried to color coordinate at this first. shelf at least, kind of. But then these ones just kind of lose it. There's some other goodies on there. A little custom Michael that I did at one point. That. There's a little awesome. fiend painting that my girlfriend painted me. That. Daredevil poster. All of those some goodies up there. Figures. And then Jim. So I believe that's everything in this I room. think so. I don't think we missed anything. But no. yeah. So that's pretty much it here. We'll be showing off the one downstairs, which will definitely take a little bit more time to show everything because yes. there's a lot of little displays. And, and, not, and I know this isn't a record channel, but if for some reason that's something you like, like you said, we're not going to show because that's his Yeah, closet, I do have stuff in my closet. Yeah, yeah if, you guys, if you guys ever did want to see oh, anything like that, we always could real we quick. We could. There's nothing <laughs> inappropriate under there, right? No. All right, so this is more of like where his storage is. But yeah, I got also, a, what I do is whenever I open new figures. like all this G.I. Joe's around here. Yeah, so one of the things that I don't get display, unfortunately, which I want to, um, is uh, 25th anniversary. So I have some figures. These I actually came by at a convention for like dirt cheap. Yeah. Like literally like 20 bucks when I'm pretty sure she's worth like 200 and she's worth like 100. I know she wasn't an exclusive, so I guess they both were exclusive San Diego. for SDC. So, since downstairs is mostly loose, I'm going to say not all of his loose things are down there. Like we said, we won't show it off because it's in his closet, but he has a whole bunch of bins stacked with all of his loose figures in there. Yeah. Yep. Just so just then, when we show the other video, you're, you don't look at it going, wow, he doesn't have that many figures. No, it's just... Yeah, and I the cards that I throw under here, every like few months, I basically have a bin in my uh garage for card backs and i'll put them all in there but for, until then i usually just throw them in there because i open up most of my figures in my room so then and then once it builds up then i i take them all down but yeah i wish with some of the things in here though like this pumpkin for instance sebastian just gave me this figure actually one of the ones i needed but i wish that the batteries didn't die so easy and they weren't like oddly sized batteries because i'd love to have like the lights on and everything to display like all the time but yeah so anyway that is Ethan's toy room. Yep. On to the next Plenty one. Plenty more videos to come tonight, so stay tuned.